Well, I uh, have an interesting video. Uh, I mentioned how I was going to be get around to do a Sun Dragon's up, but since I'm kind of in the middle of playing it on my own, obviously I'm not going to be uh, be able to do a new star right now since I'm kind of playing some But so what I decided to do is at least make uh, maybe some kind of helpful videos uh, that maybe some of you guys know about, you know, the... The club, you know, little sub story that you can get from Majima side of it. Now, uh, so this is more or less a video to basically help people that, you know, may just be getting around to trying it for the first time. Maybe they kind of struggle with it a little bit, or maybe they got up to the point where they had to take on some of the, you know, like club bars, mm -hmm. for example. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of some tricks that can basically kind of help you get through some of these, uh, some of the, you know, what you can basically do out there, all that kind of stuff. And uh, give you a little bit of some tips as well as far as how you should go about, uh, you know, your your platinum hostesses. Now, I, you know, uh, I will also uh, touch on where you could basically find different hostesses that you could basically add, you know, to it. And you could also... Uh, Go to the, you know, go to the, uh, where you can, uh, you know, what the clown guy is. You can basically get some that way too. But I'll, I'll cover all different stuff now. But I basically want to go over basically, uh, first how the gameplay, how it works, and all that sort of thing. Now, if you guys already know this, if you guys already played and already have done these kind of, you know, this sub story, then this doesn't really apply to you. But, uh, it's mostly for people that are fairly new to it, aren't really sure where to start. Now, it, uh, you know, it pretty much lays out pretty much what you have to do, all that kind of stuff. But, eh, you know, when it gets down to actually getting out there, um, you know, uh, you know, when your first time playing it, you know, uh, even for me, I, I struggle. It, it looked like something I would be able to do pretty easy, you know, when you first look at it. It doesn't look like something that could be that challenging, you know. But uh, there's a little bit more to it than just putting the girls out there, things like that. Now, so you go to prepare open, right? So because you don't really get that many hostesses, what I decided to do was take a, a new save from scratch rather than show you from the completed save to make it seem like I have too many hostesses. So I want to show you that like for your platinum hostess like Yuki, for example, she's the only one you have right now. They are definitely the people that you want to have whenever you go up against other clubs, whenever you get a challenge. However, though, be careful how many times you put them out there. You don't want to, you don't want to overwork them too much because when the time comes when you have to take on a challenge, the worst thing that could happen is that uh, they're a little bit tired and this and that. This is where you might want to get some other hostesses to kind of put in there. There's different ones you can find from gold to silver and bronze. There's different ones you can get. But the, the ones that will really help you uh, get through most of the club fights is definitely your platinum. But if you guys want a little bit of a tip, don't really spend too much money on them early on right now. I usually don't really buy that much stuff for them. Uh, for, you know, for my platinum hostesses. As time goes by, once in a while, I might get them a new dress or something like that. But that's usually about the extent that I go. I don't usually put a lot of jewelry or anything like that on them. I usually like to keep them kind of the way that they are. Most of the time. Uh, most of the other stuff just is more for aesthetic reasons. Okay, so when you get out to the table, your main job is to basically uh, put people where the, where the person is basically wanting. Like, for example, you get people that are looking for a party. Uh, you get people that like to talk. You get uh, skill. There's different things. Um, now, a little bit of a trick, though. You don't necessarily have to give them exactly the person that you always want to give them for example like okay for example if i just put somebody over he, this guy on this table that just walked in he's looking for love right okay since there's really nobody that really um i don't have anybody that he's favored right now he'll be okay with this person sitting with them you know and that's the thing about it you know when you first start out you never know what you might have for it now this next one down here for example you have somebody that wants skill now i want you to pay attention there are different things that you're uh when you go in there's different things that are those head signals that uh that the hostess will basically ask you to basically kind of give them a little aid 
Now, I'll be honest, I didn't quite know how to go about doing that at first. Some people, it took me a while to figure out, okay, what something does. Like, okay, like what signal meant for a towel, or this meant for a menu, or this and that. It's like, what do they do? Well, if you hit the right one, basically it gives you a bonus. If you accidentally hit the wrong thing, uh, when you go to check into it, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes you can get a negative once in a while, where, uh, the, the, the customer will go from a, maybe kind of a happy face or somewhat happy face to somewhere in the middle, or sometimes they can get a poor face. So, uh, because you only have three hosts that usually start out, you know, once you kind of, once you get by this first one, you know, Majibo will automatically just kind of add two others to go along with what you have. But that's, that's not going to be, you know, the ones that he kind of puts in there, that's not enough that you're going to, you're going to need more than just the hosts you have here. But I'm just kind of giving you a rundown of what you could do. Just watch every single thing that I do here. It's not too hard, um, you know. It takes up getting getting familiarized, you know. Now I've actually gotten through uh, the the very I've actually beaten Club Boo now without too much of an issue. When I first played Knuckles of Zero, yeah, those of you that actually got that far and actually you guys know how hard he is the first time you Yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> But now, I pretty much know the right people to put against him and who to use and that sort of thing. But this is a, uh, I'm only showing you the, the beginning parts because, um, you know, with Club Mood, it, it kind of varies with the way that they, with the way that that one kind of works because there's an awful lot of spamming that he does, you know. <laughs> And even when you do have the right people sometimes, uh, you can still be a little bit of a handful of times. I don't know. Most of the other clubs, you know, you should be able to get through. I got through just fine. It's just when I got the club move, you know, the first time, that was it, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when I got to him, man, it was, it was quite a struggle. Yeah. Now... Another little tip is when you're when you get people out there, let's say somebody is looking for a certain thing, do you have to give them the well, if you give them the customer basically what they're actually looking for, if they get the most uh, basically what it does is you get more you get more of a bonus and the, the, the hostess that's with them will get more will bring more money into the club in return. So the, the better that you have somebody with the actual person that they're looking for, the customer is looking for, the better off you will be in terms of. But there's sometimes where you, there are certain occasions where you may want to hold off on. Let's say okay, you have some people out there, right? But you don't exactly have a host that nobody is wanting. Uh, the only thing you need to stay away from is the the red, the red angry looking face. Yeah, you definitely don't want to put anybody with that. It's like. Because most of the time, uh, unless if you racked up enough to where you get the, uh, where you can go into, uh, I don't know, what you want to call, when you hit the, uh, the button, you can basically set it into party mode, basically. I usually can kind of, um, ignore whatever is going on with the, what the person wants. But usually, if you just put it out there, even while it's going, it's not really going to affect them any. So, uh, just a little advice. Don't put anybody with... Then what about the sad faces? Well, uh, a sad face person can be, you know, uh, they'll be a little upset because it's not what they're looking for. But if if somehow your hostess can get through it, let's say, okay, you did put somebody down, somebody that they're not necessarily looking for. Yeah, sometimes it might turn into a bad, could go from bad to worse kind of thing. But sometimes if you hit the right thing, you can kind of get the person to calm down. And then maybe they'll go into a neutral where you'll get the green face, which is kind of like, I call it the neutral face, sort of. But you can kind of do something like that. And that basically, uh, will basically kind of, they'll just be normal towards them. It won't really, it won't gain that much more of a benefit, but at least it's better than them where they were previously, right? But yeah, most of the time, you kind of want to put the hostess where they're supposed to be. But on certain occasions, yeah, you, uh, when, especially when you start getting other, when you start getting more customers to come into your club, uh, that's where sometimes you might want to hold off on some of your platinum hostesses here and there. That's why I say, say, you know, build them up at certain times, you know, that's basically also with the, with the customer service little, the, you know, the little interviews with them are for, like with, with uh, whether you're talking, you know, uh, you, uh, from Yuki to... Uh, 
Uh, what's your name from Club Mars? I, oh man, you know, there's different ways you can kind of go about it. So now I'm going to fast forward a little bit ahead from here. So now that you guys at least have an idea, hopefully what you guys just saw here is basically what I just showed you through just with three people alone. Okay. I, these aren't the really the best levels that you're going to get, but it worked out okay for me, right? That should be about what you guys should average, you know, just about what you can get. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now to where you can actually get other hostesses and that sort of thing, where they can be found, how you should go about them, should you get them, this and that, and all that other stuff. Now, if you already know this, this will apply to you. But again, this is kind of a helpful video, so help, hope it helps either way. So let's go ahead and fast forward. All right. So, okay, so I came back out, so I just kind of forwarded the head a little bit. So, if uh, a couple little tips before you, uh, if you want to do like the little interviews with uh, Yuki and, and the Platinum Moses, you can't just go up to them and just talk to them. Uh, you actually have to talk to the guy here, you know, uh, whenever you want to do something. So, whether it's, uh, whether you want to like, you know, do the one-on-one -on -one little sit-down, just like any other host. If you guys met any other Yakuza, you guys know about, you know, when you usually are the customer, right? But in this case, you're not we are not just playing as a customer. You're more or less basically doing it to basically um, give them experience. And trust me, uh, the better the better you do with the uh, with the extra uh, with the little uh, sit downs with Yuki or any of the other platinum bosses you get, the better off they'll be. Whenever when it comes time to dealing with um, rival challenges and that sort of thing. So since you know when Majima gives you two other hostesses, I say just go ahead and just put them in. That way they're just kind of out of the way. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much all you need to do. So now, okay, now that you have at least two more hostesses in there, as I said, that's not enough. So what else do you need to do? Where can you find others? Well, there's um, the, the easiest one is over by the clown. But there's a couple of other hostesses I recommend picking up before you get them. Now, if you've already done some sub-stories with some people, this is where they will be if you've already done some of them. Like Dolly, for example. If you've already done her, same thing with the Overtarian and some of the others, uh, they'll be able to uh, be request as a hostess, per se, or something like it, you know. Uh, this girl here, obviously, uh, this was the one that uh, the little girl that stood outside the uh, the uh, the Sega place was basically look, uh, looking at some, you know, now, uh, you basically have to get a couple of things out of the machine, right? Well, she's that person. So, <laughs> she doesn't, you know, you look at her, she doesn't exactly look like a hostess, but her stats are actually pretty balanced. She's, uh, she's got, she's pretty decent with talking. Uh, she's got pretty good with the love area, and she's surprisingly has some pretty decent skill. You wouldn't think so, but she's actually uh, pretty handy to have. She's got um, she's a gold hostess though, uh, but she's she's got some pretty balanced stats. Uh, but she's not uh, the only problem about her though. Her health is a little bit lower, so she can't. Uh, she doesn't have as much stamina as some other some of the other uh, extra hostess you could find out there. So if you want to if you want to use her sometimes, uh, go ahead. Uh, just kind of there's times where you may want to take her out of the lineup and just let her rest for a little bit and then put somebody else in. Um, you know, most of the time she can carry her own weight, but usually, I usually, once of the, uh, most of the time when I use her, I usually use her for like maybe two sessions and then I'll just sit her and for somebody else. Now, uh, you guys know about the Obertarian, but do you know about this girl? <laughs> what do you guys know about her? <laughs> it's like, who is this girl? Well, uh, if you guys know about the person that you did a bunch of errands for, right? There was this guy that basically you first bumped into that was, uh, you bump into, um, I can't remember where you run into him at, but he basically starts limping, right? And long story short, uh, he was, he was running errands basically for this girl here. And it turns out that she was basically seeing some other guy. <laughs> And you, ain't, you even get the guy a pair of sneakers and all this other stuff, right? That's who this girl is. But it turns out she also is a hostess, it turns out. 
Uh, she, <laughs> she's kind of on the, I don't know, she's a little on the grumpy side, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, it's like, so it's like, what, who in the world would want to talk to? Well, surprisingly, she's actually pretty good with talking, and she can actually party. She's terrible at the love. She's terrible at the romance thing, or if you want to call it love, the loved one. And she's pretty terrible at skill, but she could serve pretty decently against. Some, uh, she she rarely gets rattled whenever you put her in a party group, or and she if she's talking with somebody, she really gets to, uh, really get taken out of. So she's really handy, especially when uh, when uh, some of the. Uh, some of the rival bosses basically try to use the uh, try to use certain things to take your people off the board. Basically, uh, she's one of the few ones that'll still stay there uh, that won't get removed. Uh, the Obatarian is the other one that basically has that functionality. I don't really have to say much about the Obatarian. You guys already know. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward now to where you can get other hostesses now. And just like that, there you go. We just you just recruited a Rhonda. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of a funny name, but it kind of works. <laughs> yeah, it's a better name than you deserve. Wow. Makes a good point though. <laughs> I guess if you say so, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and go forward now, because that's the Opatarian. I don't have to say much about her. You guys can do her on your own. So, uh, she's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but some people say that she has the most stamina as far as, yeah, she, the girl could, the lady could talk. It would take some old lady, but trust me, man, uh, she, uh, when all, when, uh, when, when I went and started going up against Club Mood, she was the one person that he could never take off. I don't know. <laughs> Other people, like, they would keep disappearing here or there, right? Well, if you come over here, this basically is another way you can basically get hostesses. It's pretty easy, but you need to make sure you at least have enough CP to be able to do it. They don't usually cost that much, but because you can get more than one coming over here, uh, you know, you get different ones from silver to bronze, platinum, not platinum, but uh, gold. That's pretty much all you get. Now, I know some people were kind of wondering, is the gold and what is the difference? Well, to be quite honest, outside of the platinum hostesses, uh, to, from what I noticed, there really doesn't seem to be that much of a difference between a gold hostess to silver and... Uh, however, though... Uh, and that's it. Uh, the ones that I just showed you back there with the sub stories, they tend to be a little bit more well rounded, more rounded compared to the hostess that I just mentioned back there that you can get from the uh, from the, the you know the I don't the shrine or whatever you know uh, you know. But I'll show you a hostess over this way that you can recruit. Okay, you notice there's a girl standing there, right? Well. She's one of the ones that you can basically walk up to on the street and basically uh, this person be will become a part of your club. Now the one downside about these these hostesses though, you know, you can you can sometimes get they can sometimes turn out to be decent here and there, but the downside about them is you gotta buy something for them. So that they don't they don't come free like some of the other hostesses. Some people, some people don't think that they're kind of worth it. Uh, some people say that they do. I, I've read different things out there. Trust me, uh, you're better off just getting as many hostess as you can because um, you never seem to have enough. Because trust me, the size where every single person is going to rest. Because let's just put it this way: by the time you get the club, by the time you get the club moon, you're definitely going to want your platinum hostesses to be maxed out by that particular point. And if you don't have, if you don't have most of your most of the hosts you have, it's not just the platinum hostesses, but you pretty much want to have everybody close to being maxed out by the time you, you know, get around to. I do it in. And it takes a little while. Now, lucky for this lady, I actually had an Italian watch on me that I got from... I don't even remember how I got it now. It was... I didn't give it to me. So, I just basically just didn't even have to spend anybody on this girl. And that pretty much is how I got her. 
But keep in mind that if you want to go this way and pick up some of them, if you don't have the money right away, yeah, you might have to do certain things or progress the story a little bit to add some money, you know. Or, you know, even when you do get a rival challenge, it's not like you have to take it off right away. You can still do just the normal club itself and basically, you know, uh, continue to make money, you know, it's, it's no different than, you know, with Kiryu, um, you know, on his side, but it's a little different, obviously. Uh, when you get a challenge for them, they do stop it, you making money after a certain point, whenever, uh, whenever, you know, uh, whenever one of the billion, one of the uh, five billionaires basically uh, has something to say to you, or, you know, this and that. But with what Majima's side, it's a little different though. Like, uh, you'll get you'll get a call like when you want to check out a club or this or that goes on. You'll basically get a little interruption. But afterwards, it just goes right back to the normal game, and you can just play it normally, like like most of the time, you know. <laughs> so, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing now, so what am I doing over here? Uh, the next thing I want to go over is basically. After you deal with hostesses, the next thing you want to do is you want to basically pair, start partner up with some of the businesses around the area. Since right now, since you start out with club bars, uh, it's the only one right now that you can basically kind of do. Um, you know, uh, I didn't really mean to get into this fight, but uh, I was trying to check over here to see if there was anything I could look at. But uh, basically, what you need to do is go around and look to see if there's anything there. I know, some of you guys saw Mr. Shakedown back there. I actually beat him three times with no weapons. <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know. Uh, then, okay, so just like this, it's like, okay, so which buildings do I need to look at? If it, well, it depends. Um, you, you just want to look and see what the prices are at certain ones, but they usually are not cheap, usually. So you want to see what they cost, and then if you want to go ahead and get it. Like this one is about two two million, so it's up to you if you want to get it. If you don't like it right away, you could you know you could deny it for right now. It's like what does it do? It basically will add more customers. Will more customers. More obviously, the more customers that come in, the more you the more money you can make. Now the only downside is the more customers you have, obviously the more hostesses you're going to need to basically be able to sit down. Because now, uh, if, if you have more, too many at one time, I would say, you know, with somebody like Club Bars, I'll just leave it like this, guys. This guy is not really that hard. Uh, even my first time, when I got, when I first played, you know, uh, Majima's sub-story of his, he was actually pretty, pretty easy. And I didn't even have Yuki maxed out. I, you know, I did like one little interview or something with her. And I did a, you know, I, I got, you know, I got some of the, some of the, some hostesses up that I wanted to get up a couple levels. You know, Yuki, I got her up, I think about around level 10 or somewhere around there. And I basically took him on and beat him like it was nothing. You know, I don't know. Uh, now, some people kind of freak out when they see that the, the person's uh, name is actually higher than them. Don't worry about that. Really, at the end of the day, is you just need enough uh, to do enough to basically beat them. But that's pretty much all you need to do. So, hopefully this video kind of helps some of you guys out there. I don't know. But that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, so, those are just basically some things you need to do. Pair up. You know, it's like, what should I, can I buy? I mean, that's up to you if you guys want to buy stuff for the, you know, your platinum bosses and stuff. I usually don't do it, and I've actually gone through the game just fine. Now, Yuki, yeah, I mean, sometimes, uh, at most, the most that I do, like I said, I might just buy her, like, maybe one extra dress, and that's usually, I just call it a day. You know, it's the same thing with the other, uh, the other platinum hoses you get when you beat uh, the other clubs. You know, from I to I forget. Uh, there's a girl from Club Jupiter, and then you got uh, uh, I forget the other one. There, there's like five all together, and then there's an extra one that comes after you base club. Well, that's a little bit of a spoiler. You guys will see who the last one is, but yeah, other than that, you know. That's pretty much it. My favorite three is still Yuki, I, and the girl from Club Jupiter. Uh, what is her name? Uh, Saki, if I'm not mistaken. She wears like a green outfit. That's all I remember. 
Uh, but those are the three that I like most. And as far as the hostess is out of this game. So. <laughs> but now that I've played this now for so long now, you know, I pretty much can get through it. So, it's like, what should you take somebody out? Well, it's up to you, if whoever you, you know, you don't have to, you know, it's up to you how you want to go about it. Just keep in mind, when you can tell when, when, when they're definitely start, when they're, when you can see the icon right now, their face is kind of happy. That means, okay, everything is all good for them. They're fresh, they're rested and up and ready to go. Now, after you do a couple of uh, turns, you know, usually when they start getting around the green, that's usually when I start pulling people a little bit. And then I'll put some other people in and eventually get them to rest back up. Because if you leave them in too long, eventually they'll take days off. And then you have to wait until they decide to come back the next day to recuperate. Um, so, yeah. And with your, with your platinum bosses, you definitely don't want them to get to that particular point. And since your aces in the holes, you definitely want to, you definitely want to treat them uh, the best out of them, but don't necessarily neglect the rest of the hosts that you get. So even though your platinum hostesses are mainly the what's going to get you through the rival challenges, you still need to, you still need other people to compensate them because you know, uh, one person can't do everything. You know, you don't say it right. So but that's usually about the extent of it. You know, the most I do with Yuki. She kind of, you know, she has sort of a, she's a mix between, uh, I would say, cute and classy kind of look about her. She's really kind of, like, she has a, a uh, some people say that Yuki has, you know, could appeal to different people out there. Yeah, she does. That's, uh, Yuki, uh, if you really think about it, Yuki's type of, uh, is a really popular look in Japan. Yuki's type, I'm saying, the way that she looks. Uh, she just has just... I don't know, this girl next door kind of vibe about her. You look at her. Uh, my favorite one is I out of the out of, out of the hostesses in this game. I just like the way that she looks in the game. But Yuki's to, uh, but Yuki is more well-rounded than I. I is more the type, you know, you could just have a good time with sit down, you know, that sort of thing. You know. Uh, but Yuki would probably be the type that, you know, I could see somebody wanting to marry, settle down with that, you know. She would be that type, you know. In the beginning, you know, she starts off all shy and things like that, right? But eventually, as time goes by, you know, she starts to get out of her starts to get out of her shell a little bit. And that kind of girl, you know, in Japan is usually pretty popular. Certain guys, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She's all right to me. It's kind of funny. They they brought her back actually, and if you guys play Kwame Two, uh, they actually brought her back. Um, you know. As a not not as an actual hostess that you can use uh, in it, but she pretty much just like a manager like this one though. Uh, some people say she looks a little, she does look a little different, but not not you know. You have to figure uh, Kwame Two is a remake, so of the uh, Yakuza Two, which didn't even have you know, as far as I remember, I, I don't I don't even remember now if the original uh, Yakuza Two had a hostess thing, so. That's pretty much all you need to do. So, with that, guys, hope this video helps some of you out there with that. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.